Welcome back. I had to split the report section into two videos because MGR has lots of reports and it will make it easier for you to digest the information. Let's crack on. The next report I would to discuss is the products report. Let's click on the reports from the left hand menu and then click on the products report. This is one of the most used reports and this report can be turned into three or four different reports by just ordering on the column which I will show you later in this video. Same as with any other reports in MGR you have lots of fields available if you need to filter the data. I want to focus on the output columns now, the first column contains the product name, the next column is the product and if you click on the link it will open the product, the next one is the product category, and the one after is the supplier associated with the product. The following two columns are related to purchase order, it shows how many times this product has been ordered from the supplier and the amount spent on it. The next two columns are related to the sold side of stats, it shows how many times you have sold this product and the amount paid by the customers. The following column shows the profit you have made on that product. The following two columns are related to current stock, it shows how much stock you hold for this product and how much it's worth. I would like to show you how the calculations are done so you are aware. So the purchase order amount is calculated as your purchase cost price multiplied by your purchased quantity, the sold amount is calculated as your sold retail price multiplied by your sold quantity, and the profit and loss column holds the difference between sold and purchased amount. The current stock value is calculated as the product's current cost multiplied by the currently available quantity. By default the order is on the product however if you click on the quantity column twice it will show which product you have bought the most, if you click on the sold quantity twice it will show you which product you have sold the most, and if you click on the stock quantity column twice it shows you which product stock you hold the most and that's what I was referring earlier that you just ordering on the column this report can be turned into four different types of reports which is always very handy. The same applies to the amount columns as well just ordering the column will make it will a different report. You can also extract the data shown on the page, you can copy the data, export it to CSV, Excel or a PDF file as well as send it to the printer. It will just send the columns to the printer rather than the full page which is very handy at times. You can also see that all the columns related to the amount or any counter have a subtotal at the bottom to make it easy for you and if you have multi pages then subtotal of the each page will be shown. The next report I would to discuss is the products warranty report and manufacturer warranty report. Let's click on the reports from the left hand menu and then click on the products warranty report first. This report holds the information regarding the warranty you have offered to your customers, please note that when there is an RMA you can see all of this information in the ticket as well however this is a generic report to list every single warranty which has been offered to your customer base. Same as with any other reports in MGR you have lots of fields available if you need to filter the data. I want to focus on the output columns now, the first column contains when the invoice was created, the next column is the actual warranty end date, which also shows how many days it will be expired, the next one is the invoice number, and the one after is the customer associated with the invoice. The following three columns are related to discount, VAT and the total invoice amount. The one after is the status of the invoice if it has been paid or due, and the last one is the action column which will allow you to see the invoice and the customer. Let's now jump to the manufacturer warranty report. This report contains the warranty information with your supplier, from here you can see when they are expiring and if there are any missing from the stock count. You can also allocate the stock to a repair or the pause order from here as well. We do have a setting where you can sell serialized stock without being in the stock and when it's arrived you can assign it to the repair or the pause order. You can also extract the data shown on the page, you can copy the data, export it to CSV, Excel or a PDF file as well as send it to the printer. It will just send the columns to the printer rather than the full page which is very handy at times. The next report I would to discuss is the categories and brands report, let's click on the reports from the left hand menu and then click on the categories report first. This report holds the information regarding the performance of your inventory based on the categories so you can monitor which categories are doing better based on their sale. 
Same as with any other reports in MGR you have lots of fields available if you need to filter the data, you can also filter the data based on the ticket or POS sales. I want to focus on the output columns now, the first column contains the name of the category, the next column's data is based on the purchase orders and shows how many times you have purchased, and the next column shows how many times you have sold items in this category, the following two columns show the purchase amount and the sold amount, and the last one shows the profit and loss based on the purchased and sold amount. Let's head to the brand's report and you will see that it's identical to the categories report instead of categories it shows the performance of the inventory items based on the brands. You can also extract the data shown on the page, you can copy the data, export it to CSV, Excel or a PDF file as well as send it to the printer. It will just send the columns to the printer rather than the full page which is very handy at times. You can also see that all the columns related to the amount or any counter have a subtotal at the bottom to make it easy for you and if you have multi-pages then subtotal of the each page will be shown as you are already aware that you can always change how many records to show on the page here or via the settings. Please note that this flow is with every report we have that's why it's important that you know how to navigate through any of the report. The next report I would to discuss is the ticket feedback report. Let's click on the reports from the left hand menu and then click on the ticket feedback report. This report holds the information regarding the ticket feedback your customers have submitted. Same as with any other reports in MGR you have lots of fields available if you need to filter the data. You can also filter the data based on the positive or negative feedback as well as the feedback score. In this report, we show individual feedback so you can easily see the data. I want to focus on the output columns now. The first column contains the ticket reference, the next column contains the customer's name, the next column holds the device make and model and the one after is the short info and the issue type. The next column shows the status of the ticket along with the technician who worked on it. The following two date columns are related to the ticket created date and the ticket feedback date. We also show some graphs on the report so it's easy to digest the data, as you are aware that we show individual feedback on this report however the graphs are based on the group data. It shows the positive and negative feedback and it also shows the feedback scored in a separate graph as well. You can also extract the data shown on the page, you can copy the data, export it to CSV, Excel or a PDF file as well as send it to the printer. It will just send the columns to the printer rather than the full page which is very handy at times. You can also see that all the columns related to the amount or any counter have a subtotal at the bottom to make it easy for you and if you have multi-pages then subtotal of the each page will be shown as you are already aware that you can always change how many records to show on the page here or via the settings. Please note that this flow is with every report we have that's why it's important that you know how to navigate through any of the reports. The next report I would to discuss is the customer points report. Let's click on the reports from the left hand menu and then click on the customer points report. This report holds information regarding the customer's reward points. Same as with any other reports in MGR you have lots of fields available if you need to filter the data. In this report, we show individual reward points so you can easily see the data. I want to focus on the output columns now. The first column contains the customer's name, the following column contains the shop name, and the next column tells you how they got the rewards, there will be some positive and negative rewards points as well. For example, if there is a refund then the system will take away the reward points. The one after is the actual reward points value. The next two columns show when the reward was created and when they are expiring. The action column allows you to delete and view the invoice. We also show some graphs on the report so it's easy to digest the data, as you are aware that we show individual rewards on this report however the graphs are based on the grouped data. It shows how many rewards were awarded and how many were redeemed. You can also extract the data shown on the page, you can copy the data, Export it to CSV, Excel or a PDF file as well as send it to the printer. It will just send the columns to the printer rather than the full page which is very handy at times. 
You can also see that all the columns related to the amount or any counter have a subtotal at the bottom to make it easy for you and if you have multi pages then subtotal of the each page will be shown as you are already aware that you can always change how many records to show on the page here or via the settings. Please note that this flow is with every report we have that's why it's important that you know how to navigate through any of the reports. The next report I would to discuss is the ticket reconciliation report. Let's click on the reports from the left hand menu and then click on the ticket reconciliation report. This report holds information regarding what parts were used and where. This report is very handy and can be also used as the picking list when it comes to ticket stock allocation. Same as with any other reports in MGR you have lots of fields available if you need to filter the data. In this report, we show individual tickets so you can easily see the data. I want to focus on the output columns now, the first column contains the date when the ticket was created, the next column contains the customer's name, the following column contains the ticket reference, and the one next to shows the device and issue type, the following column has the current status of the ticket along with the technician's name, the following column has the list of parts this repair used along with the total ticket amount and the invoice number. The following two columns have the paid amount along with the notes. You can also extract the data shown on the page, you can copy the data, export it to CSV, Excel or a PDF file as well as send it to the printer. It will just send the columns to the printer rather than the full page which is very handy at times. You can also see that all the columns related to the amount or any counter have a subtotal at the bottom to make it easy for you and if you have multi pages then subtotal of the each page will be shown as you are already aware that you can always change how many records to show on the page here or via the settings. Please note that this flow is with every report we have that's why it's important that you know how to navigate through any of the reports. The next report I would to discuss is the ticket report by issue type. Let's click on the reports from the left hand menu and then click on the ticket report by issue type. This report holds information about the repairs based on issue type. This report in fact is a combination of four reports, if you click on the group by you can change it to country, brand or model. Same as with any other reports in MGR you have lots of fields available if you need to filter the data. In this report, we show grouped data based on the ticket issue type, country, brand or models. I want to focus on the output columns now, the first column contains the grouped factor such as issue type, country, brand or model, the next column shows when the most recent repair was created, and the following column contains the sum of repairs you have created, and the one next to shows the discount amount, the following column has the tax value along with the ticket total amount. The action column contains a button which will list all the individual tickets. You can also extract the data shown on the page, you can copy the data, export it to CSV, Excel or a PDF file as well as send it to the printer. It will just send the columns to the printer rather than the full page which is very handy at times. You can also see that all the columns related to the amount or any counter have a subtotal at the bottom to make it easy for you and if you have multi pages then the subtotal of each page will be shown as you are already aware that you can always change how many records to show on the page here or via the settings. Please note that this flow is with every report we have that's why it's important that you know how to navigate through any of the reports. The next report I would to discuss is the stock chart report. Let's click on the reports from the left hand menu and then click on the stock report. This report holds information about the current stock levels and the stock value based on the cost of goods and it also shows you the estimated stock value based on the current sell price. Same as with any other reports in MGR you have lots of fields available if you need to filter the data. In this report, you can filter the data based on the brand and model. As you can see we show the two boxes along with two graphs, the first box holds the number of products you have and the second box holds the information about the stock quantity. I have 222 items and 17,530 Induvial stock items. Let's concentrate on the including VAT graph, it shows three sets of information, the stock value which is in red, the estimated profit which is in yellow and the blue is the stock value based on the selling price. We also show how the calculations are done at the bottom so you're aware. The next report I would to discuss is the customer's report. 
Let's click on the reports from the left-hand menu and then click on the customer's report. This report holds information about the customers you have. Same as with any other reports in MGR you have lots of fields available if you need to filter the data. In this report, we show individual customers. I want to focus on the output columns now. The first column contains the customer's name, the next column shows their email address, the following column contains which company they belong to, and the one next shows how many invoices you have created for that customer. The following column has the total value of these invoices along with what they have paid so far. The next column holds the value of their credit limit and the remaining balance is what they still owed you. The action column contains a button which will take you to the customer's record. Let's click on the show on map button. This report will show you all of your customers on the map so you know where your customers are geographical. This is a very useful report when it comes to the geolocality of your user base. Let's head back to the customer's report. You can also extract the data shown on the page. You can copy the data, export it to CSV, Excel or a PDF file as well as send it to the printer. It will just send the columns to the printer rather than the full page which is very handy at times. You can also see that all the columns related to the amount or any counter have a subtotal at the bottom to make it easy for you and if you have multi-pages then subtotal of the each page will be shown as you are already aware that you can always change how many records to show on the page here or via the settings. Please note that this flow is with every report we have that's why it's important that you know how to navigate through any of the reports. The next report I would to discuss is the staff performance report. Let's click on the reports from the left-hand menu and then click on the staff performance report. This report is one of the most used reports which holds the information about your staff's performance and key performance indicators. Like with any other reports in MGR, you have many fields available if you need to filter the data. In this report, we show individual staff. The actual report is split into four sections. The first section holds the ticket data, the second section holds the point of sale data, third section holds the purchase order data and the last section is related to expenses. Let's concentrate on the ticket section. The first column contains the staff's name, the next column shows how many tickets were assigned to them, the following column contains the paid amount, and the one next shows the due amount, the following column shows how many jobs were completed along with how many of those came back as the fault wasn't fixed and the percentage. The next column holds the value of how many RMA tickets belong to someone else they worked on and the percentage. The duration column contains the time spent on these tickets as you may track the time on the ticket. The second section is related to pause, so the first column contains how many pause orders this user has created along with the amount and if any of those were called back. The third section holds the purchase order information so it shows the number of purchase orders created by this user and their amount. The last section shows registered expenses, so it shows the number of expenses registered by this user and their value. The action column opens up the staff record. We also show some graphs in this report so you can see the conversion from allocation to completion. You can also extract the data shown on the page, you can copy the data, export it to CSV, Excel or a PDF file as well as send it to the printer. It will just send the columns to the printer rather than the full page which is very handy at times. You can also see that all the columns related to the amount or any counter have a subtotal at the bottom to make it easy for you and if you have multi-pages then subtotal of the each page will be shown as you are already aware that you can always change how many records to show on the page here or via the settings. Please note that this flow is with every report we have that's why it's important that you know how to navigate through any of the report. We do have over 80 different reports, you can see all the other reports via all reports and it's hard to cover every single report in this introduction video however by watching these videos you will have a better understanding of how the reports work and how to get the most out of them. As explained previously that we are always adding new reports and improving existing reports to give you better control over the data. Please explore the other reports as well and if there is something missing, please contact our support team.